welcome to our VR closet. So this will be a combined uh, review of um, my uh, Fnatic Classic Rim, the Round 1 Rim and also the Universal Hub because uh, uh, yeah, the hubs are connected to those wheels and uh, the wheels alone uh, would be a bit short to go through. So, but yeah, I can start off uh, here with the classic rim, uh, which is my second favorite rim. This is the one I use the most after the BMW rim. Uh, a really nice looking rim and it feels really good. Uh, this leather and this nice stitching on it and also the three spokes with holes and uh, I really like this uh, fanatic uh, wheel cap on it as well uh, it's a 35 centimeter rim uh, the only thing I uh, could have wanted would be if they went for a 38 centimeter rim instead just to make it stand out even more uh, from the other rims but yeah that's the only complaint and it's not really a complaint because it's uh, it's a really nice rim and 35 centimeters uh, diameter is is really nice but yeah they could have gone with a few more centimeters I think um, next to that I have the round one rim or the classic formula 80s rim uh, this is also really nice uh, a bit thicker in the grip it feels like yeah <coughs> and um, also a nice fanatic logo to it. Uh, this is a small rim. It's only 27 centimeters in diameter. Uh, this one have some stitching down here. Otherwise it's uh, a glued rim. All the leather are glued on this one. But uh, yeah, really nice. Uh, like this as well in classic formula cars or some classic uh, cars with small rims in them. Uh, okay, so now over to the, to the Universal Hub. As you can see, you connect the wheels on this hub here that have the quick release. Uh, you also have the option to uh, set the uh, LED display up like I have on this one or facing down or flat as on the classic rim so you get the indications right up so you can lean, lean in if you do need to do some adjustments and you still have uh, the button, most of the button functions or layouts uh, you can reach them right here so that is the option button and then you can scroll and do your choosing and also some other mappable buttons just like the button box on the on the hub itself um, so yeah um, I have taken out the paddle shifters that is a con like uh, all other fanatic rims and uh, so on so, uh, it's it lacks a positive click and uh, tactile feedback to them and so going to the different accessories you get with the universal hub and yeah uh, negative as usual the paddle shifters uh, but uh, yeah you get 
like this ordinary pedal face and also a formula style pedal shifter paddles um, you can also see the picture here so you get a bunch of um, button boxes that you can uh, arrange how you like them like so and it's upside down or down here and you can put the different button boxes around how you see them fit and uh, the buttons is really nice and clicky like uh, uh, the other fanatic button boxes on their other wheels with stationary button boxes on them uh, and you also get this funky switch like uh, I think it's a d-pad or directional button and you get the rotary encoder and also push the only negative with this is the X the Xbox logo would have liked to see uh, uh, this one uh, would have liked to see that uh, you could take that off uh, to make it totally black or with uh, I've seen earlier models with the Fanatic F on it that's that would have been nicer uh, you also get some uh, button caps uh, really nice that you can change them up and you just uh, take them apart like this and you can use them only like totally totally black like this or those or you can change them up with if you have any one of those that uh, serve your needs um, what can I say more oh yeah uh, you also get um, this uh, USB connector on the hub here if you are going to use uh, like uh, telemetry dashboards or uh, uh, like a mobile mobile dash uh, use your mobile with a uh, dash app you can connect that into the hub and uh, place it on the wheel so really nice so yeah my conclusion of the hubs is uh, really positive it's awesome that they have made this and also you can uh, Put any aftermarket rim that fit either with those six screws uh, is it 50 mil there are also some 70 mil uh, pattern I think and also like this uh, tree pattern so you can uh, if you find like a momo wheel or sparkle wheel that uh, should fit as well on the universal hub so that's really great and also the uh, different possibilities with the LED screen you can have it like that flat or up with facing up like on my round one wheel uh, you can add paddle shifters and also different button box layouts how you like them so yeah I think it's a, a really really good and um, intuitive piece of equipment that they have done here Fanatic, uh, really nice uh, really easy to uh, change the button boxes or take them apart like I have done or so it's just a matter of minutes to arrange them how you like them so uh, yeah thumbs up for both the Universal Hub uh, round one really nice wheel and also the classic wheel a real gem in my closet uh, and also please 
come on over to uh, me, us and uh, Mestizo69 on our 3D Discord channel to just hang out, chit chat or uh, to say hello. But uh, yeah, hope you liked the video and if you did please like and subscribe and I see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.